and tying out the invoice to the prepayment is to create a negative accounts receivable instead of a positive liability account. We saw that we, we talked about this when we did like the data entry portion of this. So now we've got these negative kind of receivables in place. The reason that's useful, if I go over to the sub ledger to the right hand side, if I go all the way to the sub ledger, then what's going to happen is the, the total balance in accounts receivable is still a, a positive, but you have certain, uh, certain people, certain customers that have these negative balances in there, meaning that's a prepayment. That's us getting paid before we did the work instead of us recording it in a liability, which is more difficult to then track in this sub ledger too. We've recorded it in a negative receivable, which is often the case you might see in accounting software. And now at the end of the period where we want to determine if there's still some of these negative amounts that are outstanding and do an adjusting entry for them. So the adjusting entry here is not is not going to be to recognize the revenue at that point in time, but rather to increase the accounts receivable to what it should be without having these negative or prepayments in it. And the other side go into then the 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 un, unearned revenue, the liability account. So that's going to be that's going to be what we will do this time. And then when when you actually in our in our scenario that we have here, we're saying we're going to say that we have a prepayment that took place for a guitar. And that's another area that you might have a prepayment. We talked about rental property where you might have a prepayment, meaning if you're if you have a rental then you might get the deposit first, which is kind of like un unearned revenue acts in a similar way. You owe the money back, so it should be basically a liability. And if you are going to be having inventory that's custom made in some way, and you have to order it or make some kind of custom formatting for it, then it's often the case that you're going to ask for a down payment up front. And then at a later point in time, you're going to then give give the item, in our case, the custom guitar or the guitar that we had to order. So at the point in time that they want to re 